Shapes and such. If you add up every angle of any quadrilateral, you will always get 360 degrees. With that in mind, what degree will the corners of any given square measure? <laughs> Big oof. Shovelware Studios. If you want to ride the paper airplane in shrunken school lobby, you need to buy the plane pass. How much does the plane pass cost? Car battery. <laughs> Big laundry. A miniature version of the famous statue, the Thinker. Just think of all its many uses. Hmm. 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 I think you could think of one if you thought about it long enough. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Bordy! you waiting, huh? Here's a question from me to you! What's the name of this Scottish skirt-like garment? <laughs> huh, lucky guess! my duties. Bye for now. The power of music. What is Science rules. What is the freezing point of water? I'm trying to freeze some right now, and it's just, you know, normal cold water, which is fine, but it's not what I'm looking for. Help me out, would you? We're friends, right? I consider us friends anyway. Hey, don't give me the cold shoulder. Sure, whatever. Uh. 
Amazing space! Okay, okay, I'll ask him. So, my little alien friend, Glup, is trying to get back to their home planet on the other side of the universe. But they're worried the spaceship won't make it past all those space rocks orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. Do you know what that region of the solar system is called? I'm hoping I can find a library book on it so we can figure out the odds of navigating through it. The power of music. So I'm working on a song and I need a way to connect the verse to the chorus. Huh, if only there was some device I could use in my song to nicely connect that gap. Huh, do you have any idea what that could be? The power of music. What instrument is this? Big laundry. So imagine you're in a clothing store. You overhear a conversation between two people. Oh, yeah, I'm totally into beanies right now. Beanies, huh? No, I'm more into deer stalkers. I mean, how fetching, right? Deer stalkers? What is this? The 1800s? No, if you're gonna pick a weird one, it's gotta be fezzes. What type of clothing are those two weirdos, I mean people, talking about? Puzzling Puzzlers If tomorrow I said the day before yesterday was Saturday, which day is it today?
We'll be providing travel and lodging accommodations to the Swiss Alps. Hit the slopes at a five-star ski resort with scenic vistas, world-class service, and definitely no yetis preparing to chase you down the side of the mountain, forcing you to deftly dodge rocks and trees. Here's our shovelware's Brain Game Grand Champion! Seriously, congratulations again on your impressive shovelware's Brain Game win! I, uh, I do need to clarify, however, that the contract that you signed prohibits you from profiting off of your newfound celebrity in any way without the express written permission of the dancing band. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by the pyramid scheme I fell for last week. If I can even just get like three of you to sign up for whatever it is I'm supposed to be peddling, that'd be great. From Shovelware Studios Hollywood, it's your new favorite show. Welcome to Shovelware's Brain Game. He's just a silly little guy. It's the Dancing Banana. Zoo Pals. All these normal questions have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored but is a bored? Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Board. Let's see what the question is this time. Look at this beluga whale. It's got a funny little bump on its head that helps it find food and navigate using echolocation. What is that called?
You've just posted cringe. Another question down. See you all later. It's lit, fam! I have a fence that needs painting, but I can't be bothered to do it myself. Which character from classic American literature could I go to for advice on how to scam others into doing it for me? <laughs> Off the mark! <laughs> Artistic integrity. Pottery is one of the oldest human inventions. People have been making things out of clay for ages and ages. At some point, potters started using a process that would waterproof materials, make them suitable to hold liquids, and also allow them to color and decorate their works. What is the name of the coating used in this process? Shovelware Studios. In Shrunken School Lobby, you come across two quiz sections. Hey, this whole game is a quiz section. <laughs> anyway, which character sets up the second one? No way! What's the word? The word fusion has many meanings, usually involving combining two or more things. Which of these is not an example of the term fusion?
Math zone. <laughs> what is ten times ten? <laughs> nice on. Garden variety. What is the process plants use to make energy? Artistic integrity. With gorgeous bright red plumage and the captivating ability to talk, Polyester the Amazing Talking Ferret will brighten your home with her intelligent turn of phrase. She'll mimic anything she hears. Let's hear a demonstration, shall we? Okay, Polly, is there anything I need to remember? Don't forget to find some prizes quick or I'm fired. <laughs> Primary colors. Colors you can mix together to get any other color. If you had some spotlights and wanted to be able to mix together every color you could think of, what colors of light would you need? <laughs> no way! Flags of the world. The flag of Canada features a white center, two red bars on either side, and a shape in the middle. What is that shape? Probably geography. I love paper boats. You know, I used to love sending them sailing down the creek by my house, but lately I've been wanting more. More challenge, more adventure, more water. If I wanted to send a paper boat sailing down the longest river in the world, which river would I need to put it in? It's lit, fam. Hey. 
It's an IOU for one fabulous prize. I ran out of time and couldn't find anything good. But you can redeem this at some point in the future for a real prize. I swear. I'm trying to remember the name of an old book I had to write a report on during my days back at game show announcer school. I remember it was something about an angry fruit. A fruit full of wrath, even. Ah, do you know which fruit I'm talking about? The material clearly didn't stick with me. A new cardinal! The bright red color could match your new car, if you had one. You did it! You've got the biggest brain of all! That's the end of this exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game. Signing off from Shovelware Studios Hollywood. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by the Admiral Electronic Catalog. People still buy things from product catalogs, right?